Welcome back my friends, this is Mr. Roboto with you today. So, look, a couple of things that we have to understand of this program that we're doing these tutorials for, which, which is VEX Code BR. First of all, is free, so far it's free. And it allows us to learn different things, right? To understand the con different concepts like the different control blocks, how to do a loop, how to do a conditional, how to do a while, things like that, right? Plus basic movement and basic tools as well, right? Today we're going to learn, uh, for those of you that haven't done the rest, uh, here's a link for one of the videos right here. Okay, so start the tutorial process and so you can come up to, to this one. We are going to do the number fifth one, uh, the last one in this series of uh, tutorials in English. Uh, let's go then. So we have this. Remember, br.bex.com. We're going to use the wall maze this time. So for those of you, I'm just going to show you the different camera angles. This is the robot view. This is the perspective view. So you understand those red lines are actual walls. <laughs> we have to go through those walls. So if our robot just goes straight, it's going to hit the wall. So there are different ways you can do it. It's We have the usual approach just to let you know this square is a little bit different in size. So one complete square instead of 200 millimeters is 250. So in order to advance a uh, something basic i will do something like this uh, turn to the left 90 degrees and then drive forward to 50 and that will show us how we can start getting out of the maze right so just go straight turn left and that's it and i can go that i start doing it step by step we're already learning how to do that part um so i'm not gonna repeat it what is very interesting for me is how we can do it in a way we can do it just do the program really fast even if it takes longer but since we're doing the program really fast it's gonna be faster overall so first of all from velocity and drive velocity to 100 all right and we are gonna say something to our um Robot. So I'm going to say, you know what? It's going to repeat this until until the down sensor, the down eye detects red. Why red? Because that's the end, right? So when it detects the end, that's it. Now, the beautiful part here. So it's always going to drive forward. So I'm going to do a uh, if else. So if else, so the sensor, if the distance, remember we saw that in tutorial number three. So we did something with distance. So if the distance is more than, it's bigger than, Yes. Uh, is bigger than 260, meaning there's more space, right? It's open space. This is gonna go forward. Okay, so let's go here. If distance is more than 260, it's gonna just drive forward 250 millimeters. and it's gonna turn right 90 degrees. So this is where it can get a little confusing. So it's gonna go this forward. Yes, turn right. And if, 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 if not like that, it's gonna do something else. It's gonna turn to the left. Okay, so turn right. 
So it's basically what it's going to be detecting is always on the side of the wall. So if you look, the wall is on this side, so it's going to be detecting this wall to go around the wall. And eventually it's going to get here. Okay. So. Uh, if distance in memory is more than 200 or else is going to go forward. Let's see if it works. If not, I have to do some tweaking because I might have done a mistake. I don't know. If I'm okay. Yep, works. Perfect. It's a charm. Okay, so this is what it's doing. So basically, it's advancing. It's detecting. Look, it's nothing. Continue. Always turn to the right. Here, it's going to do this, but it's always going towards the right. So it's going to letter D, then it's going to go way around it, then it's going to number four and uh, the way around it to the last one. There is another thing we can do which is custom blocks. I'm going to um, teach you how to do that. Uh, we didn't do it in the last tutorial. Um, custom blocks are used especially when we're doing, we want to do, I don't know, just put like it, it, it will be like a fast dial like in a cell phone right we just use something that says move and it's gonna do a lot of different blocks at the same time i'm gonna show you how to do those uh, type of or um, custom blocks for this so this is the programming very simple right very simple programming this is the programming to solve this maze now if we're doing it one by one, show you how to do it at the beginning, but we can also do something called custom blocks. So forward, I'm just gonna go one that is called forward, one that is called right, and one that is called left. So in that way, I'm just, it's easier. It's just like when you're giving instructions, you know, in a simple algorithm. So let's do this. Define forward, define right, and define left. So I'm going to go ahead and say this. You know what? Forward. Let's go forward to 50. That's one forward. It's 250. Every time I say right, it's turn right 90 degrees. And every time I say left, it's turn left 90 degrees. So I'm defining the blocks first. Okay, I'm just going to put this here so we don't see them again. And that's it. Now all I have to do is, you know, I need one forward, one left, forward, left, forward, right. So let's see. So if I do forward, left, forward, right and then i will need forward left again forward right so let's see how it goes so forward left forward right forward left forward right very good so look what is reading is this commands okay so maybe i need to do forward left forward right again and that's how we can do custom also to do it a little bit faster and um, it can be less confusing for some people uh, then I can do forward right so look I can repeat this forward right uh, so it's gonna be looking here and I'm gonna advance one two three times so three forwards still gonna be a lot of blocks forward left then forward and to the right so we should be looking this way over here right and so on so on so on so this is just to show you how we can solve the wall maze in different ways custom blocks or we just with the functions okay and that's it that's everything uh, we need to know right now just to let you know as homework as a challenge however you want it 
do the coral reef cleanup it's fun to do it with the coral reef cleanup what we do is we have to be careful we don't touch the coral reef uh, but we have to pick up this trash so every time we go forward and we just pick up i'm just gonna leave this just to see how it, <laughs> it's not gonna work of course but just to show you how it will move for example with something like this and uh see it, it starts picking up the garbage um and the idea is to pick up as many as you can that can be a challenge for you so i hope you like it this is the series of tutorial we have for today uh, my friends like always please please remember to subscribe to our channel and uh we don't have many videos in english mostly in spanish however we have some uh basic uh training tutorials and some stuff in english so please like subscribe comment if you have any comments this was mr roboto robotica para mentes inquietas robotics for curious minds ciao ciao